Welcome to part five on the Sauerman Psyker 130 flue gas analyzer. If you haven't seen the other four parts on this, why not? But if you haven't, then I will leave a link in the description below. Anyway, in part four, I've shown you how to do a tightness test using this. And in part five, I'm gonna show us how to do a tightness test using one of our smart devices and mirroring the screen off this. So let's get on with it. Now you can see the analyzer is actually turned on, but the tube is not connected to the gas meter. That's important. But first of all, I want to check my wireless connection is on. So I need to press the three lines, go into settings, go into general, and then you can see the wireless connection is not on. So I need to slide that across. I can now come out of that, go into other measurements, go into UK tests, press start, and this is why you can't have it connected to the meter when you first turn it on. It's now zeroed. So I can now go into let by and tightness. I can now press this button and it's giving me the reading on the screen of zero. So I can now go into the app. I can now ask it to search for device. It's found it straight away. I can now tick that. I can now go into connection and it's now going to pair. Now go into other measurements, again into UK tests, again press start, it's going to bring the pump on for a few seconds, so we do know that these are paired together. We're now going to let by and tightness, we now press the start, and they should mirror each other, which they have done. So now what I've got to do is connect onto the gas meter and raise the pressure to between 7 and 10 for our let-by test. So now you can see we're at 9.3 millibars. So we don't press this screen, we press this one to start the test. And it's now going to count down for a minute. So now you can see we have fallen, according to that, we've fallen by 0.02, but on the screen it's 0.01. But anyway, it's still a pass, so we can press on to that. Now what we've got to do is we've got to take our pressure up to between 20 and 21 millibars. Now you can see we're at 20.56, so we can press start. And you can now see it's on the screen. So again, we've got a minute for temperature stabilization. So you can see we're at 20.51 now. So we've dropped 0 0.02, which is still a pass. So we need to click on that. And it's now going to do our tightness test. We can now click onto here because we don't need to adjust the pressures. And it's now going to do our tightness test for two minutes. Now you can see the tightness test is complete. It's uh, actually fallen 0 0.04 millibars. So that is a pass. And you can see now it's complete. We can now disconnect our hose, replace our test nipple. Again, using our flat screwdriver, make sure we don't over tighten it. We can now turn on the gas supply and then we can test whether the test nipple is leaking by using our leak detection fluid, commonly known as LDF. Wait for a few seconds to make sure it's not leaking and then using a nice clean cloth we can now remove this excess LDF 
away so it won't corrode the gas meter. And now the job is done. So that's my look at using the Sauerman Psycho 130 flue gas analyzer on tightness testing using my smart devices. Anyway, if there are any other tests you want me to uh, perform using this analyzer, then put it down in the comments below. I think for my final test, I will look at using the analyzer doing a room CO test because the analyzer and your smart devices will work up to 15 meters apart. So it will come in great using your smart device as a remote control for your analyzer. So you're not actually in the room when you're performing this CO room test. Anyway, hopefully you've liked this video and I'll catch you in part six. Cheers.